Howdy partners and welcome to Zulala. This week we're finding out which animal is the best shot. Which animal is the best shot might sound like a strange question, but you'd be pleased to know we haven't given a bunch of shotguns to ducks, because that would be a bit stupid, right? Anyway, for a lot of animals, their prey lie just out of reach, so they've had to come up with some pretty unique solutions to get it. Take Archie, for example. He lives on the island mangroves of the Pacific, and his favorite insect prey lie on the branches above him, tantalizingly out of reach. Oh, so just how does he manage to catch his prey? We'll find out a little bit later. Archie isn't the only animal faced with the quandary of trying to get hold of prey out of reach. Take seabirds. How do they get hold of their fish finger sarnies? Enter the gannet. <coughs> their favorite prey, sardines, tend to show meters beneath the surface, but with epic binocular vision, they can lock onto their prey, line them up, and judge the distance perfectly. Using gravity as gunpowder and their bodies as a bullet, the gannets dive from 25 meters up, hitting the surface at 100 kilometers an hour, allowing them to plunge 15 meters underwater in a fraction of a second. Now this might seem like a really dangerous endeavor to you and I, but the gannet has a trick up its sleeve, or neck should I say, because in its neck are built-in airbags, and this cushions the impact of the water, so it's the sardine and not the gannet that will feel like it's been in a car crash. So the gannet relies on a high-speed aerial attack, but what if you're one of the slowest reptiles on the planet, the chameleon, and everything else can shuffle out of reach before you get to it? Well, while it lacks in mobility, it makes up for with another set of amazing eyes. With the ability to move them independently and even see an ultraviolet, their eyes can lock onto prey and judge the distance with phenomenal accuracy. Once locked on, they fire out a ballistic missile tongue. This tongue is one and a half times longer than their bodies and accelerates to full speed in about 20 milliseconds. So fast, in fact, it defies the principles of muscle power. They use an elastic catapult in their mouths, very similar to the way that a bow fires an arrow. So, thanks to some clever rewiring, you don't have to be the strongest or fastest to catch prey just out of your reach. Just accurate with a catapult. So what about Archie? Archie is an archerfish and a champion spitter. Accounting for the refraction index of water, the distance of his prey and even gravity, he's able to spit up to two meters away and almost never needs a second shot. Until recently, scientists were left stumped. Much like the chameleon's tongue, Archie just shouldn't be able to spit with such force. But it turns out that Archie is an expert in fluid dynamics. Archie uses his mouth to form a rudimentary gun barrel. He uses his gills to force out water in such a way that the tail end is faster than the front, so it catches up to form a watery cannonball of doom to devastating effect. With crickets proving to be such easy prey, we thought we'd make it a bit more challenging and find out which of the Zula La team would be first to fall victim to Archie's blast. Would it be Chris the producer, Simon the cameraman, Sam the researcher, or me? Four amigos versus one archerfish. Bring it on. In the wild, archerfish often shoot at bugs that luminesce, so we tried a laser pointer. They seem pretty interested. Oh, Chris has taken a few shots to the face, but he's holding fast. Wait, what is Sam doing now? He's giving it a little jiggle to make it a bit more enticing and typical. We all got drenched. Nice one, Sam. You deserve to get spat on by Archie for that. Well, while we dry off, if you've got any questions about any weapon-wielding wonders or any awesome adaptations, then let us know in the comments box below. And subscribe so just like Archie, you never miss a thing. See you next time on Zulala. Yeah, baby, I made it to the show.